This is part one of running Elsteina in Ansys Cloud. For people who already registered for Ansys Cloud, you can go to this website. Once you sign in, and in here, if you are a Windows user, you can click on the download this session to download the file. For the people, uh, you may not have sufficient uh, permission to run Windows into a installer. You can uh, download this zip file. Regarding installed uh, Elsteiner, uh, we can actually click on the, this Ansys Cloud forum. In here, we have the good video. It's called uh, Installing Ansys Cloud. So in this two minutes video, you can play with this video. It will explain to you how to install Ansys Cloud. Once you set up Ansys Cloud, now let's take a look at how to launch Ansys Cloud from Ansys Workbench. So here I have a workbench. Let me open this Elsteina job. If you click on the extension, you can see that Ansys Cloud extension is checked. It. Let's right mouse button, click on edit. Here, I have a, a Tyler Impact example of Einstein. And as you can see that we have a tab, it's called Ansys Cloud. If you want to run a job in Ansys Cloud, you can click on this icon. And you can start a new job. Maybe you can put your, say, my job one. Enter. And then you can choose Elsteiner. And then you need to choose the region. You can choose the East US, West US. And the principle is that you'd better choose the region which is close to the area you are located. And then you can choose the machine. You can say that it's a different machine. And here you have one is recommended. And then number of cores, the total number of cores, you can choose the how many CPU. And you can also uh, put a time limit, say how long, maximum session. And here you can choose download result after completion, check, or manually and do uh, download. So let's click on submit job. Once you start a job, you will find that this is a message, say, answer job started. It will take uh, four or five minutes and uh, to finish this job. Here, and we, we can see that this icon shows you a uh, file transfer is, uh, is good and because it's a green line. And this one shows you are connected because it's green line. You can also click on this one to open the cloud forum to, to go to this website and you can uh, ask a question. Yeah, you can also put your name. You can also search uh, some questions. So those are something you can do this. And uh, once your job is finished, you will notice that this is the email. Once this job is done, you can click on this one, download results. As you can see, we are downloading results from Ansys Cloud to the local machine. You can choose the unit. Here we got the results. If we do animation, as you can see that it works. Once you finish the job in the cloud, you can uh, exit. Uh, if you don't exit, next time you will automatically log in. This finish our part one of running Elsteiner in Ansys Cloud.